think there's a right balance being struck right now, or would you like to see things change uh, in one way or another? I think I and most of my colleagues, and even most uh, private observer, observers in the private sector, would agree that uh, part of the problem is right now that the FCC administers the Communications Act of 1934. Uh, now, obviously, a lot has changed uh, since 1934. The biggest one being that we now have what we call in the FCC and in the industry convergence. Uh, you know, before you had just telephone companies providing voice service. But now you have you know, cable companies, wireless uh, companies, and others trying to provide that same service. Similarly, it used to be that you know, cable companies were the ones who gave you your video service. But now you have satellite and telephone companies doing the same thing. So when you have uh, you know, different companies in different parts of the industry now competing with each other, you really need to have a regulatory framework uh, that reflects that. Unfortunately, the Communications Act was created at a time when you had uh, basically silos. So uh, under Title II of the Act, for example, that's where telephone companies were regulated. Under Title III, well, that's where wireless companies were regulated. And Title VI was for cable companies. Um, and so it's difficult for us at the Commission to administer the Act uh, which has these silos when you have an industry where everyone's competing against each other. So I think part of the challenge for us is not so much political as it is uh, just as a policy matter trying to figure out how to adapt the act to modern situations. And uh, that's one of the things that I'm hopeful we can resolve with the assistance of Congress in the years to come. How are you able to balance uh, these conflicting interests at times? I mean, you have companies that have become very big and sometimes they partner up on different deals and, right. and that could be potentially anti-competitive. So how do you mm -hmm. find that balance? My bottom line is that we should always be focused on what is good for the American consumer at the end of the day. Uh, I think uh, what is best for the consumer is competition, innovation, and investment in the industry. And I think, uh, you know, regardless of technology or the size of the company, if we can get those three uh, things right when it comes to a particular marketplace, then I think we at the FCC will have done our job. So if we can identify a, a competitive harm that's occurring in the marketplace, we should act to correct it. Uh, but uh, generally speaking, I think uh, our job should be to just establish a regulatory framework that is you know, technologically neutral. We don't want to favor telephone companies over cable or wireless companies over satellite. Uh, we should try to be as neutral as we can, step in when we do find an anti competitive harm, uh, but otherwise you know, let the marketplace work in order to you know, promote greater competition, innovation, and investment.